Wow, look how nice the car looks in this light. Too bad it's dirty. How am I supposed to get in there, mister? Why did you do that? What are you, stupid? What's up guys and welcome to another episode of my YouTube channel. So glad to see you here again and to all of you new viewers. Hi! So this week I am so stoked to tell you about this project I've been working on with this company for a long time. My studio and my office and my photo studio is located in the same area as a coffee roasting company and together we have created something special normally you have food pairings together with wine pairings in a restaurant but when you serve coffee wouldn't it be really delicate to have a pairing with chocolate so that's what we did so here we have it Four pieces of chocolate pralines by Chocolatier Sebastian Peterson. Taking off the lid. Nice and easy. Here we have a folder that explains who I am and the way that we work together with the roasting and with developing this product. We did cup a different type of roasting, different type of beans and consider this is the best coffee for the season and why shouldn't we just make a pairing for chocolate? Here we have them. Gonna lift them carefully. So on the outside shell we have a dark chocolate 55% Equatorial from Valrona. I think it's their cheapest chocolate but it's also the chocolate that has the most percent of cocoa butter into it that makes it more shiny and also makes it stronger so it's perfect for making chocolate shells like this. Inside we have a creamy filling with blackberries. So it's a blackberry ganache with Valrona Bahib, which is 36. Is it 36? It is a milk chocolate which is very sweet and with some acidity from the blackberries, gives a really nice flavor to it. And to add that last raspberry notes, I made this chip which is a symbol of the map of Burundi, where the coffee is from. So these pralines will be available in Stockholm at the UN and Eastern cafes. And we are developing more and more and more and trying different stuff to get some more chocolates out there. If you are in Stockholm and want to try my chocolates, now you know where to go. In my previous video, I asked you to come up with the fifth thing of my pastry top five. So now we have books, equipment, films, and inspirations. And the fifth one, the topic that you came up with, which is an incredibly good topic for this, is of course ingredients. What are my favorite ingredients in the pastry kitchen? All right, thank you so much for watching another episode here on my YouTube channel. If you like the channel, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up for this video if you liked it as well. Make sure to check out next week because we're gonna release the first episode of the Pastry Top 5. Stay safe everyone, peace.